Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we took care of the adventuring... Ad adventurous? Whatever the festival name is, and the fishing festival. And in this episode, it's actually Max's birthday. So let's go give him a birthday gift. So one thing that's slightly different is that I cleared out my entire field. Because why not? <laughs> I don't see why not. Uh... I don't need the space. I will not be using it throughout the winter. You cannot plant crops during the winter. And I just don't need the money or the experience. I'm at farming level 93, and I got a couple levels out of my mining out of that. So that's nice, I guess. Yeah. I figure this may be a way to power grind my, uh, my logging. And also just get a better quantity of wood. I think I might already have enough wood is the sad thing, but uh, who knows? We'll see. I'll deal with this stuff later. For now, onward to adventure. Snapper sashimi. Slices of raw snapper served up for consumption. Often thought to be a quick dish that brings good luck. Almost 3k, but, you know, we love Max and we want him to be happy. I was about to say, if I had to say, oops, all iron. Oops, almost all iron. Oops, only one copper. Seven freaking iron thus far. I'm open for diamonds and gold, and I'm just getting iron and occasionally copper. Uh, that's better, I guess. Oh, do not go in. I can understand Cecilia, but... Yue? Why are they allowed to go in there before I am? Come on. This is pretty good. Oh, it's Snapper Sashimi. Is it for me? Thanks, I'm thrilled. I'm so glad you got this for me. He doesn't, he doesn't specifically say it's his birthday. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. You're looking as strong as healthy as usual. The forced beginnings. Apparently it lies in a world parallel to this one. Yeah, it does. And that puts us at... Eight with Max. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. To our first quest. It's a date. A request from Mana. Let's go out. Kyle, let's go on a date. A date. Huh? Yeah, okay. Where do you want to go? I've been wanting to explore the furthest reaches of Blessy Island's Summer Island port for a while now. Let's do that. That's too dangerous. There are a lot of monsters there. Which is why I'm going with you, Kyle. Come on, let's go. Okay, but don't, don't say I didn't warn you. It doesn't exactly sound like a date, either. Don't worry about that. I'll meet you in Blessy Island's Summer Island port. Alright, onward! To adventure! Alright, so, theoretically, yeah. I've been, I've been this far before, but I've never been further than this. I'll be right behind you. I'm counting on you to handle the monsters, Kyle. No problem. So, I guess we have to... Oh. There are quite a few monsters around here. Proceed with caution, Kyle. There's quite a few monsters in here, aren't there? I'm getting a little scared. That was easy. Oh, uh, well, we're here. And it's a rainy day, so it doesn't matter about watering. You're moving too fast, Cal. Give me a chance to keep up. Hey, stay near me, will you? You can't go running off on your own, Kyle. And goodbye. I don't want to mess this up or anything, so I might as well take care of this one as well. I have no idea if you actually need to fight the monsters as you go. But she implied that you did. Come on. Be gone. Alright, onward! This place is pretty incredible. What ruins are they these? You know what, what happens if I just move on without beating the monsters? It doesn't work. She's still standing there, or did I mess something up? I think I messed something up. I 
mess something up, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well. What? What's going? Not spawning this time. I set a save state to t test this. It may be that this breaks the quest or something. So, save state. <laughs> the advantage to using an emulator rather than the, you know, hardware I was using before. That and the fact that you can tell what a lot of the stuff is actually supposed to look like. Goodbye. Look at all this. Was there another one here somewhere? No, that's all the enemies? Okay. It may not have broken the date. It may be that I just didn't go in far enough. Is this a boat? It certainly looks like it. But what's a boat doing here? I wonder which country it came from. Your guess is just as good as mine. How long has it been here? I guess there's still a lot we don't know. You're right. Wait, that name... Hmm. I'm definitely gonna become a teacher. I'm gonna teach children there are still many unexplained mysteries in the world. That sounds good. Thank you for coming with me today, Kyle. I wouldn't have made it this far without you. Well, I should be heading home before my dad gets too worried. See you! Wow. She went off alone. I can't help feeling she would have been fine even without me here. Yeah, I'm not sure I've spent much time up here thus far because we haven't had a reason to. It's a nice view. I'm not sure how this makes sense, how I'm standing on it and I'm seeing below me mountains and things. But I got what they were going for. <laughs> Just perspective doesn't really work that way. But yeah, uh, I'm not positive how any of that worked, but I'm glad that man is happy. So on to the next quest. I'm going to start, like I mentioned last episode, finishing off all of the uh, quests for all the girls now. I believe that was the second to last one for Mana. Correct, that was the second to last one for Mana. So, rad, love to see that. Alicia, this is a little too personal, so I'll tell you about it when I see you, okay? Alicia will be inside the uh, general store currently, just like Mana was. I just read a fortune and I want you to go on a on a date. Who with? With me. What? Go on a date with me. If you don't, my reading will be wrong. What, does a date with me sound so bad to you? No, it's not bad. Okay then, good. You had me worried that my fortune wouldn't be true. I don't think this has anything to do with fortunes anymore. Okay, you're gonna take me to Padova Mountains Crossroad. Why there? Don't monsters appear there? I don't have a choice. The fortune said that if we go there, the date will go well. Hmm, if you say so, I guess, but it's pretty dangerous around there, Alicia. Won't you protect me from any monsters, Kyle? Of course I'll protect you, just be careful, okay? I know, I know. Well, let's get going. On a date with you at Padova Mountains Crossroad, I think I'm gonna blush. It's weird that this would happen two things in a row. I guess just good timing. It was meant to be. This is a great spot for a date, except it looks like there might be monsters around here. I've got to get rid of them before Alicia gets here. Okay, I'll close all the gates to keep any monsters from getting in. So, first one over here. And then this one here. I won't go any further right now. I hope not. There, should be safe now. Now to get, go get Alicia. Alicia, it's okay now. She's dead. Hi, oh, yeah, it's the music. Kyle, oh, you really are strong. And so nice. Thank you. So Kyle, is there, is there anyone you like? What? Uh, well, I don't know. Why don't you tell me my fortune, Alicia? Oh, that's so nice of you, but you know my predictions are never accurate. What? Your predictions are amazing! Really? Do you really think so? Well, yeah. You're really good at predicting the weather and knowing where people will be. 
My life fortunes are totally inaccurate, though, and those are the most important fortunes of all. You're a lot better than you think you are. Come on, take a shot with my fortune. Tell me what my future holds. Okay, I'll give it a try. It is my prediction that you're thinking about a romantic future with me, Kyle. So, am I correct? Um, yes. Yes, you are. Oh, good. I like you too, Kyle. Thanks for coming with me today, Kyle. You really are a nice guy. Well, I'm gonna head back. See you later. I kind of wish the music stuck around until I left the screen. There are no monsters here, so it really should. But that was a really sweet scene. And we got them finally admitting that her location and weather are 100% accurate. But for some reason, her love sucks. And that seems to be kind of consistent with a lot of things with her. <laughs> Cecilia, this is the most important favor I'll ask of you. If you really like me, Kyle, bring me the Randstone to Machina Valley Bridge to Shrine. You mean that thing you gave me before? Yes, bring that to Machina Valley Bridge to Shrine. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. Oh. I think I know what this is, and we may not be able to do this now. Give me just one moment. I see. Okay, we will not be doing this one right now. This one is tied directly into her marriage. It has. It isn't to get the item. It isn't to, you know, get a really sweet scene that will tell you what to do from here on out. It is the direct line to marriage. So we will do this later. We will do this when we when I plan on doing her marriage stuff. So that one will go for now. And I now understand why this one has a glitch tied to it. So this one has a glitch tied to it where, as you you know probably already know, there's a completed request thing that fills out. And this is every quest we have finished. I think besides the, uh, you know, repeatable ones. The issue is that if you do this, and you turn her down, and then you marry someone else, this one will not pop up in the uh, the completed quest list. It only works if you marry her. It's bad scripting. That's all it is. I get now why that happens. That sucks. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Rosalind. Please come see me at your earliest convenience. Also, shout out to her telling me to meet her there, and then me just leaving, canceling the request, and uh, if this wasn't a video game, that'd be super messed up. You look very handsome today, Kyle. We're finally going out with my father's approval. How about we get all dressed up and go on a date, officially? I know a place where we won't be bothered by anybody. Where nobody will bother us? If that's true, it sounds like the ideal spot for a date. So where is it? At Blessia Island, Summer Island... Huh! Okay, I guess they're all in dungeons. Every girl loves a bad boy. Or at least somebody who can kick the crap out of animals. What? <laughs> Let's see how in somewhere I'm poor, huh? That's definitely off the beaten path and not somewhere I've been today. Hmm. There might be some dangerous monsters there, but if you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Right? Uh, of course. I wouldn't let them lay a finger on you. How wonderful. Looks like you're getting crazier for me by the day. <laughs> Alright, I'll be waiting for you at Blessy Island, Summer Island Port. I'll be waiting for you at Blessy Island. Yeah, okay, that is a mouthful. Hey Good there. Afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. You're always working hard out in your field, even under the burning midday sun. Your determination is admirable. You must have the ability to communicate with the land. You called me an Earth mate. You say no like dudes. <laughs> Good afternoon. The forest beginnings. It's an apparel world yet interacts with ours. What do you think that the magic that connects these two worlds together is? Any ideas? The Empire uses a device called a shift to extract monsters from their home world. So maybe they understand the principles behind these things. Although only the Empire would be foolish enough to mess about with a apparel world full of monsters. That's fair. I mean, Rune Factory 1, we interacted with all the machines that were doing it. In this one, we're actually interacting with the 
the occurring portals, which apparently didn't used to exist, so a lot of question marks there. Or at least that's what this game implies. But other games imply other things, so who knows? Can I just... Yeah, I can. Okay, wild. I was waiting for you, Kyle. This place might be a little bit dangerous, but that'll let us be sure that nobody will intrude. It'll be just the two of us. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Yeah, definitely. Nobody's gonna show up here. Rosalind's touching the back of my hand. Your hands are bigger than I thought they'd be, Kyle. And they're so warm. They're just like the calm breeze that blows through Trieste Forest. Rosalind, I'll never let you go. Kyle, the very first time I laid eyes on you, I felt a connection that I couldn't understand. But I think it might have been inevitable that two of us would wind up here like this. Look out, the hori look out at the horizon. The horizon. The sunlight looks so beautiful reflecting off the water. It does. Also, the endless flow of the waves. It feels like the eternal happiness that awaits us. You're right. I hope this happiness goes on forever. <laughs> uh, what do you like at the time? Let's start heading back. Today was absolutely wonderful. It was very moving. Thank you. Okay, I guess that we should get going now. Things are getting pretty serious with Rothland. I should talk to Max about this in his room. Hmm, interesting. Hey, talk to me about your sister and how I want to marry her and many other things I can't say in this video. <laughs> Alright, so that'll have to be tonight after hours. I think after 9 p.m. So, Julia, come talk to me. There's something I want to talk to you about. Come see me. Kyle, you made it. <clears throat> Sorry, frog in my throat. So, what do you need, Julia? Uh, hmm. boy, it sure is nice out today. <laughs> is it? Um, you need me to. If you don't have anything for me to do, I'm just gonna head home. Hold on, um. Okay, Kyle. I was wondering if maybe you'd like to, um, go on a date with me? I mean... I mean, I don't dislike you or anything, so I figured maybe you'd be fun. But don't get the wrong to you, it's not like that or anything. I was just thinking I wanted to get to know you a little, a little more about you. So I was thinking that we could go on a date. Sounds good, maybe? Hmm. Sure, let's do it. Let's go on a date, Julia. Ah, really? Thanks. You're not rejecting me. Ah, uh, but I kind of want to keep it a secret. The date, that is. If everyone sees the two of us out together, they might start disliking me. I don't want that. It'll be fine. You're your own person. Nobody's going to change their view of you or anything. Yeah, maybe so. Anyway, shall we pick a time and place? Tomorrow morning, 6 at Elvara Port. Never mind! It's early, so I doubt anyone will be around. I think we'll be able to get some privacy. Got it. Tomorrow, 6 a.m. over on a port. Okay, it's a date. Don't be late. You didn't forget about our date, right? You know, over on a port, 6... Yeah. If you stand me up or something, I won't talk to you. Valid. I'm going to stand you up. I'm canceling this request right now. Yeah. Once again, uh, we're not doing ones that take multiple days. Yue, there's something I've been wanting to talk to you for a while now. Come meet me? Yes. Yes, I will. Did you need something, Yue? Ah, uh, oh, hello, Kyle. What is it? Um, no, it's nothing. Never mind. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about, Kyle. What is it? Uh, well, I'm... I want you to take me on a... Date! There, I said it. Look at me, I'm so embarrassed. My heart's pounding and my face feels like it's burning up. I like you, Kyle. I have from the moment I met you. I thought I'd try to let you know through my notes on the town's message board, but I haven't been able to tell if you've gotten the message or not. So, so this time I want you to go on a date with me. Sure, let's go on a date. Really? You will? Will you come see me tomorrow? What? I what? Mm? I will. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. You'd better show up, Kyle. Why? 
there's um, something I want to talk to you about. Hello, Kyle. Hi, Dorothy. Oh, uh, well, you see. Yes, what is it? Would you please take me on another <coughs> date? I want to go on another date with you, Kyle. Okay. All right, let's do it, Dorothy. I'm not really sure our last date could really be called a date anyway. Well then, thank you. No need to thank me. Okay, sorry. So, what did you want to do? I'm free pretty much any time. I don't think my heart can take much more of this. I mean, well, my heart's been beating so fast, I think it might collapse. How about tomorrow? Then, where do you want to meet up? Oh, where do you want to meet up? Uh, that was him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Tomorrow, Varna Port will be good. Alright, okay. Then let's meet there. Okay. Um, you promise you'll come, okay? No, I don't promise. I cancel. I cancel everything. We will meet up with these girls in order from top to bottom. So, I will meet you guys back. Uh, give me just a second to confirm which day. Oh, it's the day after tomorrow. Perfect. So, on the 8th, I will meet you back for Ray's birthday. And... I... Um... Yeah. I... I'm glad it's not Rosalind. Because it's Ray's birthday and that would be messed up. Ugh, oh, that would be so messed up if I were to go out with Rosalind that day. But I might be able to go out with Rosalind. No, I'm already at 10. That was the 10th one right there. That was the date. Cool. I was concerned for a minute. Okay, so... Uh, see you in a moment! And we're here. It is the 8th. It is now Ray's birthday. And uh, we'll be going to meet with Julia. So... I've been doing something where I've been kind of skipping, like I've been muting any time that I haven't been able to experience the fall sound with you guys, because I haven't heard it in years. I haven't heard it since that, I think the only full playthrough I did, because in my practice file I never got past summer, I didn't need to. So I'm going to mute real quick and head over there again, because I've just been muting, I've been watching YouTube videos. So give me just a minute. Uh, Kyle, are you a little late? I've been waiting for a while. Do, do you not want to go out with me? Sure I do. Sorry. I was worried. Well, I guess I'll let it slide this time. Hmm. Okay, pull yourself together. I'm starting the date. Let's go down to the port and have a look. Okay. Go a little further down. Sounds good. Doesn't she do this with Max constantly? Yeah, whatever. She is so pretty. It really is, isn't it? I was really stunned the first time I saw it. If you spend too much time in the town, you can take it for granted. It's easy to forget just how beautiful it is. This is the first time I've looked at it at the sea with you, Kyle. <laughs> it's really nice to just watch the sea with you, Julia. <laughs> Hmm, but still, what would people think if they saw us? We should probably go home before that happens. There's no reason to be embarrassed, Julia. You should just do whatever you want to. Oh, I don't know about that. I think about what would happen if somebody didn't like me and I get scared. Julia, you can't always be worried about what everyone else is going to think about you. You need to be more true to yourself. This Julia, the one that I get to talk with, is so charming. I like that she talks about what's really on her mind. Kyle. Sure, sometimes she can be a little mean, but... <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> but if that's the real you, then it's great. I don't think anybody could actually dislike you. Because honestly, I don't dislike you at all. So I think you should at least let other people see the side of you a little bit too. Have a little bit more confidence in yourself, Julia, because nobody's going to stop liking you just for being who you are. Kyle, thank you. You're right, I spend too much time worrying about what other people think. It's just the thought of other people not liking me is so scary I can't stand it. But without even realizing it, I've started ignoring my real self. Even though I want people to like me, I haven't been showing them what I'm really like. I'm lying to all of them. I realize that I can talk to you like... I realize when I talk to you that I can't keep going on like this. 
but still, I'm scared. It'll be fine, Julia. Please, believe me when I say this. If you're honest with everyone about how you feel, they'll probably find you even more likable than they do now. That's the kind of Julia I want to see. One who becomes popular by being herself. I wonder if that's possible. It is. I know you can do it, Julia. Okay. Plus, maybe that way you'd get mad at other people for a change. Hey! <laughs> I was joking. Enough already, you're such an idiot, Kyle. Thanks. Of course. So, shall we head home? We probably should. Kyle, I like you. Huh? Really, thanks for today. Here's something from me. Mwah. Uh. Bye bye. <laughs> And that's it. We got a kiss. And I'm happy for that. It was cute. It doesn't need to be more than that. But it can be. If you want to pursue her, you have the ring at this point. You just need to propose. That is the end of Julia's questline and the start of the marriage should you want it to be. For now, though. I guess we're going to do Mana's request for now. This is about the most important thing in my life. I have 30 minutes left here, so let's go and listen to this song now after all this time. I think that's the point it repeats. I haven't heard this song in years. And I'm very happy I did. I played a bit of a actual thing for you so you weren't having to listen to all the sound effects as I went around. But that was nice. I'm I'm smiling from ear to ear right now. Alright. Mana! Oh, Cal, you saw my note on the bulletin board. Yeah. I don't really want to talk about it here, though. Will you come to Cherry Blossom Square? No problem. Okay. I'll be waiting for you there. Make sure to come and find me. Yeah, this isn't the date. It's just eerily similar. What do you want to talk about, then? Oh, Cal, I can't lie to myself about the feelings any longer. I have to be honest with you and with myself. Mana. Kyle, I love you. I'm in love with you. I've liked you since the day we first met, here on this spot. It doesn't matter how you feel about me, Kyle. My feelings for you will never change. Mana. If you feel the same way about me, Kyle, please give me an engagement ring. An engagement ring? Receiving one of them along with a proposal from my, from my love is my dearest dream. So where can I find an engagement ring? Oh well, that's a thing. My dad's got the only one I know of. Oh boy, your dad? I really am gonna have to risk my life to get it then. Sorry, but my father's one obstacle you won't be able to avoid either way. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's time to face him then. I believe in you, Kyle. I'll see you again soon. And now we have access to the final thing for Mana. Which is to go through her father. 
I challenge you. As long as I live, you never marry my daughter! Alright. Read the bulletin board, did ya? Yes. Meet me at the Trias Force Wooded Paradise. We'll tell it there. Um, okay. See you at the Trias Force Wooded Paradise, okay? Alright. Oh, and since I'm coming through here and watering, some of them are done! <laughs> Saving right before the boss battle, that is Douglas. Came to see me, huh? Yes. Got something you want to say to me? This is a weird sound to play during this. Yes, I want to... I want to marry Mana. You love her? Yes. How many times have I never told you before? So long as I'm still walking this earth, ain't nobody bear marrying my Mana. Okay. Now if you ask me knowing that, that can only mean... You're saying you're here to kill me, kid? No, of course not. Of course not. A man's gotta protect his woman. You don't beat me, you can forget about marrying Mana. Let's go, Kyle. You and me. I'm not gonna fight you. That's no worry, Orc. That guy's huge! Get back, Douglas! You ain't got a chance against that thing. It's okay, I'll handle it. Well, alright, kid. Give it your best shot. Boss Battle. It's just an Orc. <laughs> That's all it is, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, I managed to feed it. Come on, you, you have to have played the game for a while by this point. Even just like spamming the fireball spell or just like run, hit and run tactics, you can defeat orcs even at the beginning of the game. Why didn't they make any of this harder? <laughs> well, I managed to defeat it. Cow. You okay, Douglas? That's the first time I've seen you fight. Not bad, kid. Not bad at all. Thanks. Don't play this music. <laughs> You'll make a fine husband for Mana. Thank you. But don't you forget. But don't you forget something. You haven't gonna hurt. You ain't. You ever do anything to hurt my Mana? And we're gonna have more than was, boy. Yes, sir. Here, I need to have this. The ring. Always did intend to give it to the man who was gonna marry Mana. You got the engagement ring. Thank you. Promise me you'll make men happy, cow. I, I promise. Good. The engagement ring. A valuable, important ring given to one's life's partner. Oh. Crap baskets. Wow, sapphires are worth a lot of money. Oh, um... Guess I'm tossing this out. Well, that's it. And in my headcanon, he's walking away looking all cool, but tears are just rolling down his face because... joy, but also sorrow? His mana's growing up. And I, if there's one thing I love about mana, it's Douglas. Because, yes, Douglas is ridiculous, over-the-top, way too, like, protective of his daughter. But that just goes to show how much he loves her. Find me a crystal ball. It's the ultimate item for fortune-telling. I want one. I cleared out my inventory a little bit. She's not going to be here. It's a nice day. I cleaned out my inventory a little bit, and here we are. I want to talk. Actually, let's get a prediction first. The weather for tomorrow. To know whether or not anything needs to change. Also, I need to check one thing. The love reading. So maybe the reason 
her love readings don't work is that she just reuses the weather one. <laughs> so she's just trying to do a hot or cold kind of thing. <laughs> Mana seems to be thinking about you quite a lot. Me? Well, if I were to try to guess my own feelings, then it wouldn't be fortune telling, would it? <laughs> Dorothy seems pretty interested in you. Looking at Cecilia, I'd say she's been dreaming about you. Well, you know how Rosalind is, but still, it seems she's got quite the thing for you. UA doesn't come around here much, but it seems she's always looking forward to seeing you. Well, that's what I see, anyway. That'll be 20G. So, if you notice, she does not mention Julia. At all. She just will never. It's a scripting error. It's bugged. Thanks for your business. Please come again soon. I have an important favor to ask of you, Kyle. What is it? I need you to go to Padova Mountain's Ice Field and find me a crystal hall ball. I require it to finish one of my greatest divinations. As a reward, I'll give you one th a whole 1,000 G. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Thanks, Kyle. That's why I like you so much. Marry me. Yeah, yeah. You're never gonna believe me I'm serious, are you? <laughs> nope. Fine then. I'll still be happy if you get me a crystal ball. For some reason, something about that seemed weirdly familiar. I don't know why. Alright. Now, the first time we ever have to come up here, the ice field. Um... There it is. Crystal Ball, the ancient tool of a fortune teller, said to reveal the feature when gazed into. How curious. You found it. Yes, I found it. Cal, according to my fortune, a crystal ball is something that would be given to me as a marriage proposal. A proposal? That's right, the man who brings me a crystal ball is the man I'm destined to marry. You're not joking? No, I'm serious. My feelings for you are the real thing. Wow, Alicia. I love you, Kyle, and it's not just some silly fortune that I'm trying to make come true. I really do love you. Alicia, I'm not quite prepared for this. Now I understand your feelings about this, Alicia, but I haven't sorted out my feelings quite yet. I understand. I'll give this crystal ball to you, Kyle. I'll leave it up to you whether to give it to me again someday, or to throw it away, Kyle. Okay. Now I want to show the other line of this. You found it. Yes, I found it. Everything's the same thus far. Please marry me. You really want to marry me? Yes, I love you too, Alicia. Your fortune was dead on this time. Thank you, Kyle. I'm so happy. But what do you mean by this time? My fortunes are never wrong. I know, I know. <laughs> And we'll cut it there. I don't want to show the actual marriage or anything. We will be covering all the marriages in one episode. She's sweet. But that's another marriage item. And... Honestly... It's weird holding three of these in my hands right now. Four. Four of them in my hands right now. But, it could be more. So the other two shall be on different days, then. Alright, that's the end of this day. Wait. No, it's not. We haven't... Wow, we, I, I guess I'm too hyper-focused on all the girls. We still haven't given Ray his... Oops, give me a moment. Okay, grape juice for 2300. Fresh grape juice, very sweet with a strong, enticing aroma. Ray! Or should I say, Bay? What do you plan to do with yourself in the future, Kyle? I still haven't decided. I'm just having fun looking after the land right now. I want to be a doctor when I'm older. I want to be do something that helps people. Fair. Grape juice. Very much. Thanks. Today's my birthday, actually. A grape juice. I can't believe it. I'm glad to hear that. Glad that you're happy. Raise up to seven now with us. So that's good. 
now we are done for now. Alright, I will see you guys on the 13th for the Harvest Festival. Alright guys, we're back once again. This time on the 12th, actually, instead of the 13th. Because, you know, Max's room is here. Hello, Kyle. I can tell Rosalind's thinking about you a lot these days. You two really seem to be spending quite a lot of time together. Yeah, Rosalind is really special to me. Hmm. You certainly have been a good influence. Her. Have been a good influence. Her. On her, I guess. I've never seen her this cheerful and outgoing. Thanks, Kyle. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll continue to look after Rosalind. I will. Oh, another thing. It's probably none of my business, but my sister's always hoped for a true fairy tale romance. I still remember her favorite story growing up. At the end of it, a red-haired knight on a white horse presents the prison princess with... <clears throat> with something. <laughs> it's with a bouquet, I believe. Bouquet. And sweeps her off her feet. That story... Being swept off her beat feet by with a man with a bouquet of roses. Well, I know there's something Rosalind has always hoped that the man who would be her husband would do for her. In other words, a hundred a hundred rose bouquet has a special meaning for Rosalind. So if you're really serious about Rosalind or willing to do whatever it takes to make her happy, you need her to bring her a bouquet of one hundred roses. Really? But where am I gonna find that many roses? Hmm, Kyle, have you ever grown tomatoes on your farm? Uh, tomatoes? That's right, tomatoes. I love them. There's nothing better than a ripe tomato, fresh from the vine. I want you to bring me nine of them. What? Nine tomatoes? That's right. Then we'll do a swap. See, here's the deal. The flowers that look the most like the one from the illustration of the fairy tale is a variant called the Gestul, I believe is the name. So, you'll want a bouquet of those. However, a single guest jewel goes for 68,000 at the market. So, do the math, that's over that's almost 7 million G. That's rough, buddy. What? Flowers can be that expensive? They can indeed. However, I can get them without much trouble. But if I just give it to you for free, it wouldn't mean anything when you when you <laughs> But if I just give it to you for free, it wouldn't mean anything when you give it to Rosalind. A gift that costs you no money, thought, or effort has no value, no matter how perfect it is otherwise. So you have to give me a fair price for the bouquet. What you want most is my sister's hand in marriage, so the bouquet is worth a lot to you. But what I want most in the world right now is nine fresh juicy tomatoes, so that would be a fair price for the bouquet. I understand what you're saying, Max. Nine tomatoes sounds like a very fair price. Hmm. Glad to hear it. When you want that hundred rose bouquet, you know where to find me. Just bring me nine tomatoes in exchange. Hmm. Yeah, nine tomatoes, huh? That's, uh, wild. I haven't held this in my inventory for, like, an entire season. I don't know what you're talking about. So, Cal, are you really sure you want to marry my sister? Yes. Very well, then. Here you are. One hundred rose bouquet. Wow, 100 roses. That should make an impression. Now go and give those to Rosalind. Okay, I will. One hundred rose bouquet. Rare and expensive ro roses called guest jewel. This bunch has special significance for Rosalind. Alright. We have another marriage item now. And because it wasn't taking up another inventory because I already had the tomatoes, I decided to do it now rather than later. So, uh, it's the 12th, so I'll see you in the morning. Be right back. Alright, so as you can tell, all my crops are done here. Later on today, I will be sure to clear out the rest of the field again, as I do every single day, getting more lumber and more important lumbering skill. Alright, so this day is a very simple day where people talk and do nothing else. So I figured that was the perfect day to not do that correctly. Kyle, you kept your promise. I'm glad you really came. Today, it's going to be just the two of us. You can make it if you try. Since this is a special day, I thought we might go to another town so we could have a change of scenery. But then I realized that we were just getting... They would take half the day, so we'd have to turn around and head back as soon as we got there. So, why don't we just have to stay right here and talk? 
That's fine with me. Good. Do you want to tell me all about your secrets, Kyle? Secrets? I don't have any secrets. I just don't remember much about my past. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Well, you at least know what things you like, don't you? Yes, I can remember that much. Alright, let me ask you some questions, then. So what kind of food do you like, Kyle? Hmm, I'd have to say... Huh. Uh... I don't... I guess we'll go through all these. Lighter foods. You like lighter foods? I'm in the same way. Yeah, I prefer foods that's a little easier on my body. It's probably because you grow so many vegetables yourself. Alright, next question. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. Slow music. You like slow songs? I think it shows you an in your personality. It does. I listen to slower music to help calm myself down sometimes. It helps me put in a better mood. Yeah, I guess I can see that. I like faster songs myself, but relaxing music can be good too. Next question. What kind of clothes do you like? I don't know a lot about fashion, but... Comfortable clothing, I guess. I know a lot about style, so I just have to say I like normal everyday clothing that's comfortable and easy to wear. Like shorts! Really? Well, I guess you spend all day working out your field, so that makes sense. I like kimonos, even if they aren't totally practical. It always feels... It always feels good when you're wearing something you like to wear. Yeah, it does. Well, next question. You read sometimes, don't you? What kind of books do you like? Books, huh? Um, dramatic books, I guess. I like books that make me cry. After I finish reading them, I feel like emotions are completely refreshed. I feel the same way. I usually end up bowling, though. Next time, I'll bring you one of my favorites. I'll leave you curl. It'll leave you curled up on the floor. Oh, thanks. That sounds like my kind of book. Now for my last question. Tell me something you don't like. Hmm. Hurting other selfish people. Vegetables. Oh, that would be weird. If I end up hurting someone, it feels even worse than getting hurt myself. There's a part of me that doesn't even want to fight with monsters. I always feel bad when I defeat them. Cal, you're a nice guy. I'm touched. How long have we been talking? I feel like I've learned a lot about you. Don't you think we're fairly alike? I feel like that we are. I had a lot of fun. I had fun too, you eh? I'm glad we had the chance to talk. Me too. We should go on another date sometimes. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a present for you. This is a coupon for my shop. I'm giving it to you, Kyle. You can exchange it for anything that I sell. I've never given any one to anyone else. Think of it as a token of my love for you. The UA swap ticket. I don't know what to say, UA. You've given me so much. Please take it. I'm just happy to be with you. I always wanted to see you. I'll always be waiting for you to come back. Thanks for today. So, uh, the UA swap ticket, which I'll show off real quick. A ticket that can be swapped for a prize at UA store. Apparently, it is very unique. This is her marriage item. We'll get to that later. For now, time travel. Richer foods. Really, you like rich foods? I can't eat much of that myself. I need heavier foods to get me enough energy to work through the whole day. Really, I just get heartburn. <laughs> Well, there's that too. Alright, next question. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. Fast. Me too. I like songs that are full of energy. They make me feel like dancing. When I'm listening to a fast song, I feel like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's like I could take on the whole world. Yeah, I get the same feeling. I feel like I'm ready for whatever the day might throw at me. Yeah, you said it. Next question. What kind of clothes do you like? Stylish. I'd have to say st uh, stylish clothing is the best. If I feel good about the way I look, it's easier for me to put my heart into my work. I completely agree with you. When I'm wearing something I like to wear, I feel like I'm a completely different person. It's a little hard to move around in this kimono, but I couldn't do my job without it. I didn't know we had so much in common, Kyle. Well, next question. You read sometimes. Adventures. I like to read tales of adventure. I'm always turning the pages just to find out what happens next. Sounds kind of childish to me. That's really what you like to read? Hey, if you'd give him a chance, I bet you'd like him too. It's always exciting to see how the hero manages to escape trouble. Well, that does sound interesting. I'll give it a try. Now for my last question. I don't like selfish people. I don't like selfish people. There's no excusing someone who never thinks about how other people feel. Yeah, I feel the same way. I don't think there are any selfish people that are really worth anything. 
You're a nice guy, Kyle. And everything's the same from there. Quite a bit different from the way I thought you were, Kyle. I think I like it. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just have to go on another date then. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so it was different. Here's where it's the same. So let's make it a little bit different again. What, really? You're strange, Kyle. Now, you know, it's like when you first try to take a bite, maybe it tastes pretty bad, but soon you just find yourself wanting more? No, I don't know what that's like. Oh. Alright. Music. Chanting monks. Um, chanting monks, that's not really what I meant when I said music. You can't be serious, of course it's music. And fine music at that. When I listen to it, I feel like I'm getting closer to discovering a great truth. You're really serious? Of course I am. Oh, uh, well. Alright then. Next question. Underwear! What, do you like to walk around like that? I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Don't you think it's comfortable? I didn't say about anything about that. Come on, everyone stare at you. Yeah, but it's comfortable. That's not my point. Well, next question. Children's book? Aren't you a little old for that? It's fun to look at the pictures. There's always so much to see. Flowers, animals, bugs. I could read those books all day long. I don't see the appeal. Want me to lend you one? I think I'll pass. Okay. Now for my last question. Tell me something you don't like. Hmm. Vegetables. <laughs> but don't you grow vegetables yourself? How do you manage to work with vegetables a day? I guess I'm impressed. To tell you the truth, I hate it. I think that's the most shocking thing you've told me yet. <laughs> How long have we been talking? I think we've learned a lot about you. I don't know what to say. There's a lot I just don't understand about you. But I guess that's just the way you are, Kyle. I think I have even more questions now than I did before. <laughs> I had a lot of fun today. Me too. I'm glad we had a chance to talk. We should go on another date sometime. And... I have to check just to be sure. This didn't lower affection, right? It didn't. I didn't figure it would. Now I want to try one last thing. I want to see what happens if we try to answer them all the same answer she wants me to answer. Lighter foods. She likes fast music. She likes stylish clothing. I believe dramatic. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it was just the same thing as my first one, where as long as you have a decent uh, track record, like at least half. Okay. So I'll put the swap ticket in place of these diamonds. And I'll put the diamonds in place of that. There we go. All right. Kyle, I think I'm really falling for you. Oh. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. Today's the Hoffest Festival. Your vegetables always taste so delicious, Kyle. Thank you for sharing them with me. Oh, thank you. I enjoy growing them. Well, I have to give my thanks to the Earth and also thanks to you, Kyle. Today's the Harvest Festival. The time to give our thanks to Mother Earth. The Harvest Festival is today. How has the vegetable harvest been? Good? Today's the Harvest Festival. It's a lot of fun. I think it's pretty simple. People just talk about vegetables all day. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. As far as I'm concerned, the Harvest Festival is a day to be thankful for food. It's the Harvest Festival today, Kyle. It's very important to always be grateful for the food that we eat every day. Whatever you say, old man. Today's the day we give thanks for all the food that we can harvest. Today's the Harvest Festival. This is probably my favorite festival. That's fair. I wish there was a little bit more to it, because all we do is talk about food. Like, let me eat! Let me eat! <laughs> In Cardia, they give vegetables on this day, I believe. And it is the best way to raise love in the entire game. Good morning, Kyle. Can I interest you in a new sword? It's the Harvest Festival today. Farming is your game, isn't it? It's like a holiday for you. I guess so. I'm serious about farming. As serious as you are about swords. That's pretty serious. 
Now if we had a sword festival, I think that might be a little dangerous. The harvest festival. We must give special thanks to the Danston Coquille family on this day. After all, if we weren't around to buy and help ship the vegetables, so much would go to waste. Yes, we get it. Your dad likes food. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Today's the Harvest Festival. I'm so grateful that we always have good food to eat. It's only through the grace of the soil that we're able to keep farming. We really have to be thankful or else... I'm very thankful to you as well, Kyle. <laughs> Nothing's necessary. Today's the Harvest Festival. I've been chowing down all those vegetables you gave, you've given us, Kyle. I don't remember giving most of you vegetables, but it's fine. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Hey, wanna play? There's a Harvest Festival today. We have to show how grateful we are for the wind and our food. <laughs> I guess so. You guess so? Hey, show them more gratitude. Today's the Harvest Festival. We have to always make sure to be grateful for the gifts of the land. Morning, Kyle. Wait, not human? Kyle? <gasps> Today is the Harvest Festival. It's a time to give thanks. I guess even humans can come up with a good idea every now and then. That's quite a compliment coming from you, Jake. Quiet, human. I'm not complimenting humans. I'm just complimenting the festival. I don't see the difference. He called me by first name! Ah! Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. How are you? We're supposed to give thanks for our food today. It's important not to take these things for granted. I'm guessing Dorothy's at the clinic? Because it's not, a, you know, paid holiday or what? I don't know, man. Where is she? Where's baby? Dorothy! Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I'm happy to see you again today. It's the Harvest Festival today. Give thanks to the blessings of the earth. The Harvest Festival is today, a time to give thanks for the land's blessing. Time for the Harvest Festival. Got get any good vegetables for my field? A lot. Morning. Good morning, Kyle! You should come listen to my sermon sometime! Today's the Harvest Festival! It's a time to give thanks for the bounty that nature provides us! It's so easy to take these things for granted, that's why these festivals are so important! Fair. So I guess after 9, Baby will be right here. And that's the entire festival, unless I miss somebody, but I don't think I did. I'm gonna get back to work, and I will meet you guys. Give me one second to check my calendar, because I didn't bother printing anything off, because I'm dumb. Oh, I will see you the day after tomorrow for Gordon's birthday. So... Bye!